Amazon Labs. If you really want to increase your sales, there are just two ways how you can achieve it. The first method is by knowing your keywords and then indexing your product against those keywords and then running your PPC campaigns. But what you will realize over a period of time is you will get to view search terms where there is a lot of potential for you to graduate them into dedicated PPC campaigns and then get more and more sales. That is exactly what we are going to study in today's session. So let's deep dive and perform a customer search term analysis. Now in order to perform this exercise, what you're going to do is you need to log on to Amazon Advertisement Console. Once you are there, you will come here to a section called Sponsored Ad Reports and then just try to create a report. Now when you create a report, you get Sponsored to choose products and then from the drop down in here, select customer search terms or search terms and then also choose a specific timeline. So you may choose 7 days or 14 days or 30 days. So you choose a specific timeline and then run now a report. When you run a report, you will have to just do a simple refresh in here. Once you do that, you get to see the downloadable and a uh, downloadable Excel file. Now all that you're going to do is you're just going Excel. to Now for the first time when you download, this is exactly what you get to see. You get to see the campaign name, you get to view the ad group name, you get to see what is the target, you get to view what is the search term. Understand there is a difference between target keyword and customer search terms. So target keywords are nothing but these are the phrases on which you are running dedicated PPC campaigns. It could be your exact match, broad match or phrase match or it could be your auto also, right? Whereas customer search terms, let's say if your customer is logging on to amazon.com and then if they are searching for a particular phrase in order to get in order to get to your product, that is what you get to see. What is that search phrase, right? Now at this point in time, we want to understand if there are any search terms where you have more than two orders. In order to perform this exercise, what I'm going to do is I just need to apply a simple pivot, right? And then uh, here we are studying our customer search term. So I'll take my search term in my rows. I also want to know how many uh, uh, clicks I received. I want to understand what is my uh, CP, sorry, CTR. I want to know what is my CPC. I also want to know what is my ACOS. I also want to know how many orders I received. And this is all I want to know. Few more filters in here. Now see here. Well, uh, number of clicks, we want it in sum, right? So you need to change it to sum, right? And then you have your click through rate. You want your click through rate to be an average. So I'll select average. And then you have your CPC. I also want my CPC in average. So I'll take it in average, right? And then uh, here my ACOS, I also want to view my average ACOS against each of the search term, right? And then I have something called as orders. I want to take a sum of my orders, right? You see the numbers change now. So now this data set I'll take onto a different spreadsheet, right? And now I'll paste them only values. Now let's try to chop this data further. Now this is our customer uh, search term, right? These are our number of clicks, right? This is our CTR, this is our CPC, and then this is our ACOS, this is our orders, right? I also want to add one more metric, which is called as conversion ratio because we know on Amazon conversion is the king. So I'll add one more metric CVR signifies conversion, which is nothing but your orders by your number of clicks, right? So I'll apply this filter. I'll just uh, drag it all over. Now I get to see search terms and also all the data points that I require to perform a further analysis. Now what I'm going to do is I just want to know, are there any search terms where I got more than two orders in order to do that, I just want to take this data from largest to lowest. Grand total, I'll delete it, right? Now here you can see there are definitely few search terms where I got more than two sales, right? You can see for this particular search term, I got uh, 10 sales. Here I got five sales, four sales, four sales, three sales, three sales. Well, what are the other search terms where I got uh, one, one order each? I'm not really uh, focusing or not really interested in them because one order is very insignificant. I want to make sure there are at least two orders, 
now what I want to do is uh, I also want to check what is the conversion ratio uh, over this search term right now you can see uh, you know conversion ratios for this particular uh, product are pretty much healthy you can see for the first uh, search term you have 10 orders and your conversion ratio is about 15 percent which means which means you would require 6.6 .6 clicks to make one sale right likewise for this uh, second uh, search term you have got you received five orders your conversion ratio is 25 percent which means you would just require four clicks to get one order likewise here your conversion ratio is a little low uh, maybe because your search term is a little broad well you have only four orders and then you have got only seven percent CVR which means you would require 14 clicks to get one sale now the question is how costly are your clicks if your clicks are costing you one dollar then you will end up spending fourteen dollars in order to make one sale but what if your profit margin is under fourteen dollar which means you're at loss so you should be little careful with this search term likewise you also get to view uh, that you know there are search terms uh, with conversion ratios as high as 38 or 40 percent now my first action item in here is that I want to check for each of the search terms are there a dedicated you know PPC campaigns or not what I would typically do is for each of these search terms since I got two orders I will not worry about conversion ratios or anything like that right so I want to have a dedicated exact I want to have a dedicated uh, phrase and I also want to have a dedicated broad match campaign right so I'm going to have for all these uh, six keywords a separate exact a separate uh, phrase a separate broad match campaigns in that way I want to test if there are any other keywords or I'll try to find out if I can get to any other search terms or keywords which can give me more and more sales right so this is exactly how you're going to analyze your customer search term reports you're trying to spot search terms where there is a potential for you to graduate them into a dedicated PPC campaigns now the criteria for you to graduate them is just two orders now you can also go a little stricter if that is how you want to be you can also consider your conversion ratio in this example you see here while you got four orders your conversion ratio is low so you may or you may not test it but I would recommend it to test all these search terms because you will be able to get so many sales on these uh, you know exact phrase and broad match campaigns well in case if you want to optimize your title what you can do is you see for this particular search term you got five orders and your conversion ratio is also as high as 25 percent so technically you can have this search term in your title because you are getting more volume in terms of sales and also your conversion ratio is high likewise you see one more search term here you got only three orders and you have your conversion ratio to about 38 or 40 percent which is so cool so you may also add it to your title so this is exactly how you're going to analyze your customer search terms you are going to find opportunities to graduate search terms into dedicated PPC campaigns now in case if you are already running exact match campaigns on these search terms in that case you just initiate a broad and a phrase match campaign it's very important for you to test this if you are not doing this activity then you will not get more and more sales right so right now just go back to your search term reports download this data set for last 30 days last 60 days last 14 days and then see if you are leaving any money on the table right I hope you enjoyed this video if that is the case just uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, thank you all for your